We are gathered here on the sacred soil of Arlington National Cemetery to honor the lives and deeds of America's greatest heroes, the men and women who laid down their lives for our freedom. Today, we pay tribute to their service. We mourn alongside their families, and we strive to be worthy of their sacrifice. Ladies and gentlemen, Secretary Mattis. They were generals and privates, captains and corporals, of every race, color, and of every creed. But they were all brothers and sisters in arms. And they were all united then, as they are united now forever, by their undying love of our great country. Who weeps for a child, to every child who mourns for a parent, and to every, to every family member of the fallen, I want you to know that the legacy of those you lost does not fade with time, but grows only more powerful. Their legacy does not, like a voice in the distance, become a faint echo, but instead their legacy grows deeper, spreading further, touching more lives, reaching down through time, and out across many generations. Today, we also remember the more than 82,000 American servicemen and women who remain missing from wars and conflicts fought over the past century. We will never stop searching for them. Each of the names engraved in stone teach us what it means to be loyal and faithful and proud and brave and righteous and true. That is why we come to this most sacred place. That is why we guard these grounds with absolute devotion. That is why we always will remember. Because here, on this soil, on these grounds, beneath those fields, lies the true source of American greatness, of American glory, and of American freedom.